menopause actually is very important to be treated. The reason is not just for, uh, for, for vanity purposes or for just superficial reasons. What we do here is actually make the person feel balanced from inside. So as you're getting older, which most of us have experienced, if you're over 30, what happens is a person's sense of well-being disappears. They don't feel well and they just don't know why. Because there isn't anything, they're not down with flu or anything like this, there isn't any particular disease they can name it or label it. They just don't feel well. They just, uh, they don't sleep well, they're superficial sleep, they have maybe minor anxiety or mood swings or uh, just not enough strength, they don't have stamina. Uh, or they don't even have motivation. Mm -hmm. You know, as a person is getting older, they don't have the drive. You know, like I get patients like lawyers and things like this coming in, they, they have lost their motivation. They can't fight back, you know, like I have courtroom trial lawyers that come in and they say, yeah, we can't, I don't know, they feel like they're like a, like a shell of themselves, what they used to be when they were younger, you know? So that's, it's a bad call. I would think it was a poor quality of life. You know, so now, okay, now on the medical side, if you want to look at it, declining hormones cause a lot of different issues in the body. So it's, now we talked about memory, dementia, right? We talked about osteoporosis. So men can get osteoporosis, they do get osteoporosis if the hormones decline. They are at higher risk for cardiovascular disease, and this is why you see more men who are older get heart attacks or strokes is testosterone deficiency is one of the reasons why they would get a cardiovascular event.